Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit difficult to make because I have to criticize my bike and my bike company. And my ask to Marin Bikes at the end of this video will be pretty, pretty simple. But let's get into the problem. Anyway, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm a pretty optimistic guy. I love cycling and I thoroughly enjoy my bike. Now, I may not ride as much as some people, but about 4,000 kilometers so far this year. Um, and I don't ride gnarly trails or chunky gravel. Uh, I'm almost 60 and it's about being outdoors, you know, riding with my wife, going out with a good buddy, and just burning up enough calories to support my pizza eating habit. So when I bought my Marin DSX-1 about two years ago, it was very intentional. The brand had a really good reputation. I wanted a flat bar gravel bike. I could sit more upright and take in more of the surroundings around me. I wanted a one by setup. Um, I wanted a big gear in the back of 51. Um, there's some pretty steep hills in, in Austria around the Alps. Um, and I wanted the comfy geometry because I'm a really long legged guy. Uh, and the DSX1 checked all those boxes and the price was right. Uh, I paid about 1100 for it. it. It was amazing when I took the bike out for those first few rides. But then the issue started. I had a wobble in the front wheel. I stopped and found that the through axle bolt was super loose. Now I always carry an Allen wrench, so I tightened it and rode on. But two days later, the same thing happened and I was on a steep downhill and the wobble almost tossed me. So I went straight into the local bike shop where I bought the DSX one and he fixed it. Yeah, but this time it took two weeks until it was loose again. You know, back to the bike shop and it held again for about three weeks. At this point I was a little frustrated um, and the bike shop used something pretty heavy duty this time and I, I've never had an issue with it again. That, that front axle bolt is solid. Uh, the only problem is it, it made it a little bit tough to, to get it loosened when I did have a flat once. So that first season ended. I usually don't ride when it goes below 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, 5 degrees C. Uh, and come spring I was out riding three or four times a week again and with a, a few weeks I had a spoke explode. And I mean explode. I mean no sign of the thing when I got off the bike. Uh, unfortunately, I was about five or six miles from any kind of public transportation, so it was a bit of a slog home. Um, again, straight into the bike shop, spoke fixed. Um, now, to be clear, I've been riding my entire life, going back to my beloved blue Schwinn Stingray with the banana seat in the early 70s, and, and I've been riding seriously since about 1999. Uh, lucky me, I've never had a spoke break. Well, you can imagine my annoyance when a month later, another spoke blew up back wheel again. Again, I don't stress this bike. I'm, I'm six foot, 180 pounds. My average speed is 15 to 16 miles per hour. 90% of my rides are on the beautifully paved Eurovelo 6 along the Danube River in Vienna. You know, the other 10% is a mix of you know, hard packed dirt, little gravel, nothing chunky. Um, I take the bike in twice a year for maintenance. I do all the, the chain cleaning and lubing and all that stuff myself. Fast forward another month and another spoke blew. By the end of the 2023 season, I had a total of three blown rear spokes. And fast forward to this year, 2024, and I've managed another two blown spokes by June. And with the second blown spoke, my rear hub actually cracked. Uh, the bike shop did a full replace of the rear hub with the Shimano component, um, all new rear spokes, and they had to replace the rear disc brake as well. You know, the bike shop guy, he's excellent. You know, he gave me a bit of a break on all the labor. Um, he, he knows the history with me and the bike, um, so he was pretty good about it and still came out to about 250 bucks to get all that done. Um, add to that the other five spoke repairs, and I'm out close to 500 bucks in these two years just for rear spokes and now the rear hub. Now, should I be able to fix spokes myself? Maybe, but I bet you there are a lot of people out there who just don't feel like either they have the equipment or the technical skill to get that just right with the balance with spokes. Now, when all that happened, I was 22 months into owning the bike. Uh, I contacted Marin directly to try to get their take on what might be happening. First, I got no response. Then I tried again and I got a canned response. Then I tried a third time and I got the exact same canned response. Word for word, as you can see from, from the images. Um, I wrote back asking if the rep had actually read my message completely and I got no response. I followed up three more times and never got a reply. So now I gave up. Now, let me be clear. I really love this bike. I like the bike so much. It's even featured on my merch and, and on my, my video thumbnails. I'm, I'm even wearing it right here. I mean, that's me on my bike from a video I did last year uh, up in the Alps. 
Yeah, but I have to say there's some real issues here. One, why so many spoke failures and then a hub failure? Are, are the spokes that cheap that they're using or, or is the hub that cheap or, or both? Uh, I know I know there's a better hub on the DSX3, but I owned a, a giant AnyRoad 2 for eight years. Um, and before that I had a, a Tricross for three years. Um, I had a specialized Cirrus and an LA. So basically 25 years of bike ownership and, and serious riding, maybe 50 to 75,000 miles, and I have never had a spoke blow before. Uh, again, like I said, maybe I'm just lucky, but this is really strange for this much to be happening. So is there some connection? That's all I wanted to find out. So two, what is up with Marin customer support? I mean, canned responses, ignoring people. Okay, first world problems, I get that. But you'd expect better, right? I mean, I did a little research now on Trustpilot and Reddit, and, and I found a lot of similar stories. People who love their Marin bikes, but are very disappointed in the customer service being provided or not being provided. So here's my message to Marin. Can you please take the time to at least read and answer my emails, and maybe those of some of the other people who have similar complaints in my case, at least tell me whether you have this information that there's some kind of connection between that, you know, hub and, and spokes, you know, are, are these parts really just not of a standard to, to hold up to normal riding of a 60 year old guy? Uh, I mean, it, it just seems a little bit odd that there would be this many problems uh, with the same rear wheel, uh, with the same hub and, and all these spokes blowing. I know that I'm out of warranty and I'm not, this is not about trying to get compensation. This is about understanding and knowing that Marin Bikes is behind me as a customer. Um, you know, like so many people making similar complaints, we, we love the bikes. We really love the bikes. We ride bikes with your name on them. Uh, I support your bike's image right here on my chest in my videos. I'm even looking at the Fairfax EST for my wife because she'd like to come out and do a lot of these rides with me. But I'm a little hesitant to pull the trigger, you know, if there are these kinds of problems with, with the hardware. Well, thanks for listening to this mini rant. Uh, I'm going to go for a bike ride now on my DSX-1 and hopefully nothing weird happens. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.